Mm, that's hot stuff. Hi, and welcome back to Sandy's Laughing Song Jackpot. I'm your host, Sandy Connors. Thank you. And coming up in the next half hour, we've got Mr. James Brolin with us. Also, uh, Al Grandpa Lewis is here again, and Eric Estrada is going to stop by and give us a little karate demonstration. But before we get to all that, something very, very exciting is about to take place. In a few seconds, I will be choosing the winner to our Win a Weekend with Sandy contest, okay? Girls, come on out. <laughs> nice dress. I think it took more fabric to make one of my hankies here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kid the girls that Best way. Sit so close to the television, you'll ruin your eyes. Well, sitting close to the TV doesn't ruin your eyes, Gladys. It causes sterility. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Sandy's just about to announce the winner of the Win a Weekend with Sandy Connors contest, and my name's somewhere in that barrel. Win a Weekend with Sandy Connors? Are you nuts? Only a simp would want to spend time with that guy. <laughs> Sandy Connors is my idol. He's one of the greatest entertainers of the 20th century. He's up there with Laurence Olivier and Irving Berlin and, and the guy who played Eb on Green Acres. The winner. Mr. Chris Peterson. Yes! Yes! Slam dunk! Yes! In his face! Ooh! <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn the drop. Oh, sorry, Mr. Peterson. I forgot to roll the drum over here. Uh, so I guess you're... Disqualified. There's another lawsuit, huh? Honey, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Whew, that's the most exercise I've had since my pet monkey ate a pound of coffee and chased me down the block with a steak knife. I don't know where it comes from. It's just a kid. Okay. All right, the winner is... Chris Peters. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm a moron? I sent in 3,000 postcards. <laughs> uh, Mr. Peterson, unless my lawyers can figure out some way of getting me out of this horrible ordeal, I will be at your home this weekend, meeting you and your family and your friends. Lord, I'm starting to feel ill. <laughs> Chris, would you please sit down? You're making me nervous. Sit down? Dad, I can't sit down at a time like this. Sandy's going to be here any second. Hey, come on, let's make it better. Crying out loud, you're not going to kiss the guy, are you? This is more exciting than the day we waited for Sears to deliver our new trash compactor. Yeah, but why do we have to wait up here? There's a bowl of fresh nuts in the living room. <laughs> Excuse me, Dad. I'm sorry, but the living room's just a little too unhit for Sandy. Come on, my place is more happening. It's more, more now, more with it. Oh, yeah, man, I really feel the beat in here. He's here! He's here! Sandy! Okay, that ought to do it. Nice seeing you, sir. No, no, it's Sandy, it's me. It's Chris Peterson, the contest winner. Yeah, I had that horrible feeling. Nice outfit. Uh, manage a tire store? <laughs> <laughs> We're always on, aren't we? <laughs> Boy, Sandy Connors in my home. Yeah, well, I think the word home is being a little generous here, don't you? <laughs> what the hell is that? That, Sandy, is the throne I've been making all week for you. Isn't it fanciful? <laughs> uh, 
Well, um, Sandy, come right over here. I'd like you to meet my parents. Um, this is my mother, Gladys. Oh, oh. It's a pleasure to meet you. Personally, I've never found you very funny, but I think you have a very nice speaking voice. Well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate the support. <laughs> and this is my father, Fred Peterson. Yeah, Fred? You know, on television, you look a lot younger. How old are you anyway? About 60? <laughs> I'm uh, 42. <laughs> and I'm Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, anyway, I was just dropping by to say hello, you know, on my way to the Marriott. And I figured maybe tomorrow you guys could come by and we'll take a little picture out there by the lobby, okay? And then I'll be on my way. It's been a real pleasure. Um, I'm sorry, Sandy. Um, I didn't understand that last part. Was that one of your jokes? Well, you didn't think I'd be staying here now, did you? I mean, that really would be a little bit silly, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, not to mention unpleasant and horrifying. <laughs> oh, Sandy... Oh, dear, sweet, innocent, naive Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, do you know what this is? This is a copy of the official rules to the Win a Weekend with Sandy contest. Now, Sandy, it clearly states here that you are required to spend 48 hours with me. Now, if you're going to challenge me, I'll run right over to the mall and get myself a lawyer. No, Chris, 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 Chris. You know, I guess if guys can spend their entire life in uh, Attica, I can put up with two days of this. <laughs> I hope I haven't made a horrible mistake here. Are you allowed to eat ham, Sandy? Oh, yes, ma'am. I can eat ham. <laughs> really? For some reason, we thought you were Jewish. You are from New York. No. Oh, St. Louis. Did you people done your homework? I'm not Jewish, okay? I think we hit a sore spot. <laughs> Look, we just eat. I'm starving. The last thing I had was a hot dog at the airport. We'd have you say grace tonight, Sandy. It's an honor we only bestow on special guests. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, why don't we all just uh, meditate silently to ourselves? I had a feeling you'd crap out on the prayer. <laughs> <sighs> What did you wish for, Sandy? Oh, don't tell me. It won't come true. It's a prayer, you moron. Not a birthday cake. <laughs> Settle down, you two. So, you're an entertainer. Oh. Entertain us. Oh, yes. Sing us a song or, or do a magic trick. Ma, Dad, come on. I'm crying out loud, he's not a performing seal. Let the man eat his dinner in peace. Jeez. Sandy, do you feel like maybe doing a little break dancing for us? Is there, is there a gun rack around here somewhere? <laughs> Did you hear that, Ma? That was one he's starting to tell jokes. I didn't get it. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, if you folks will let me out of here, I will buy you one of those big projection TVs. It's like a little game of chess, isn't it, Sandy? The only problem is, I own Boardwalk, and you keep landing on it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are we praying again? <laughs> well, thank you for the lovely dinner. But, uh, it's been kind of a long day for me. I think maybe if you'll point me toward the guest room, I'll just call it a night. Guest room? You can't stay in the guest room. I know what you show business people are like. You just trash the place. Besides, we just set off a tick bomb in there. Yeah, the cat's loaded with them. So you better check yourself in the shower. Beautiful. So where am I supposed to sleep? Hi, Sandy. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, Chrissy's bed. A place to lay my weary head. Chris. Chris, Chris, I'm exhausted. So where am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> there is not a chance in hell. Okay, fine, Sandy. <clears throat> that's the way you want it. Fine. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you sleep on the sofa? <clears throat> but I warn you, it's loaded with chiggers. <laughs> Why don't you guys just buy some screen doors or something? You know... That's easy for you to say, but 
but not all of us make $90 million a week. <laughs> Come on, Sandy. Come on. Let's just make the best of it. Morning will be here before you know it. Sandy, can I ask you a question? No. Oh, do you think the American Dental Association has a cure for tooth decay, but it's just keeping it a secret? I mean, think about it. They'd lose millions, wouldn't they? Chris, why don't you just go in the bathroom and have a couple swigs of NyQuil, huh? You know, it's, it's funny you should mention the bathroom, because um, <clears throat> that's something I'll be doing an awful lot of tonight. <laughs> I have a bladder like a woman. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Oh. <laughs> 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 Midnight snacks? No, no. <laughs> okay, well, if you change your mind, there's a couple of pickles wrapped in a napkin in my sock drawer, so help yourself. Chris, you're driving me nuts. I mean, don't you ever sleep? You're like this skitsy little chihuahua who's just whining to go out. <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. Some pajama party this turned out to be. Look, it's not a pajama party, you dork. It's two o'clock in the morning, and I'm... My head is throbbing, starting to feel rashy. Sandy? What? Want to see my appendix scar? <laughs> so, um, I take it you're getting a little drowsy. <laughs> Good morning, Sandy. <laughs> oh, did we sleep well last night? <clears throat> Maybe it was my imagination, but I thought I heard you cursing at one point. Go to hell. <laughs> We're not a morning person, are we? <laughs> I'll tell you what you need, Sandy. You need a little sunlight in here. That's what you need. Here we go. See daisy Oh, there we are. Woo, sky rockets in flight. Bow, bow. Afternoon delight. Good morning. <laughs> oh, geez, we gotta get going. We've got a busy day ahead of us. Come on. First, we're gonna have my big Sunday breakfast. Loads and loads of bacon and lots of Sprite. And then I'm gonna take you outside and parade you up and down the street and show you to all my friends in the neighborhood. And then I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, Sandy, what are you doing with your shoes? <sighs> I'm putting them on because I'm leaving. I'm getting the hell out of here. I hate you. I hate your family. I hate this little lawnmower shed you live in. All right, Sandy. As I see it, I have two options in front of me right now. One, I could cry. Oh, and believe me, I could do that very easily. But two, I could remember that it's Hollywood that's made you a shallow, cynical human being inside. Sandy, I'm going to take you out today and show you a world that's full of life, hope, and, and laughter. Well, please don't. <laughs> Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh. You know, I can't remember the last time that I felt this free and happy. Although I'm going to be honest with you now. When I first set foot in this house and I first met you and your parents, I sincerely thought I was in hell. <laughs> sure, sure. But now, oh, Chris, boy, thanks to you, my whole outlook has changed. Because, you know, who needs show business anyway? Who needs the mansions? Who needs the leather sofas and the Lincoln Continentals? <laughs> Nope, I'm all through with that. Well, what exactly are you saying, Sandy? I'm moving in with you, buddy. <laughs> never leaving. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Good morning, folks. What you doing? Having a little breakfast? No, we're spot welding plumbing fixtures. <laughs> You know, you're a real character, Mr. Peterson. If I hadn't quit my TV show, I'd have you on one of my wacky old people segments. <laughs> Incidentally, you're all out of laundry detergent again, so I throw in a cake of safeguard. I hope that doesn't screw anything up. <laughs> Mrs. P, would you get me a beer out of the refrigerator? <laughs> you all done, sir? Yeah. Not a big fan of blueberry pancakes. You know, for future reference, I just like them plain, but uh, no hard feelings, huh? <laughs> there he is. There's my best friend in the whole world. How you doing, pal? Yeah. Hey, Chris, what do you want to do today? Huh? You, you want to build a couple go-karts? Sandy, I don't have time for crap like that. I work for a living, okay? Yeah. Hey, that reminds me, did you have a chance to talk to your boss about getting me one of those little paper route deals? It sounds like so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I did, Sandy, and uh, yeah. um, he said there weren't any openings right now. Really? Did you tell him I used to have my own TV show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that big slobbery dog from next door. I'm going to go wrestle with him for a while. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. He's he's driving me crazy. Well, I warned you, but as usual, you wouldn't listen to me. Next time, honey, try to win a nicer celebrity. Someone like Gary Collins. <laughs> Believe me, I've learned my lesson. Oh, boy. Show business people are nothing but worthless losers who should be admired only from afar. <laughs> if I could only figure out a way how to get rid of Sandy. Why don't we plant our credit cards on him and then call the cops? Phony, two-faced, middle American average Joe bastards. Hey, I know. I could take him to the zoo at Millerstown and then dump him there. That's about a hundred miles away. No, he'd just find his way back. We could always kill him. <laughs> All right. You want me gone? I'm gone. I knew I shouldn't have tried to make friends with a bunch of hillbillies <laughs> sandy sandy wh sandy wait sandy oh, boy sandy oh come on sandy we didn't mean it you're a joy to be around <laughs> Sandy, let me alone, you burr-headed pillow biter. Sandy, what are you doing up there? Is that any way for a multi-millionaire celebrity to act? Jeez. Oh, boy, here I come. Oh, oh, oh. Sandy. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. Hey, uh, Sandy. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. I don't think you're aware of this, but, uh... <coughs> This is one of those non-smoking trees. <laughs> Chris, I know why you're here. You're going to try and talk me into coming back and living with you. Uh, actually, no, Sandy, not at all. In fact, uh, I don't ever want you to come back. <laughs> well, fine. I'll just stay up here until I'm a rotting corpse and I stink up the whole neighborhood. Nice town. You got dead people in the tree. <laughs> Sandy, you know, when I first met you, I said to myself, now, now here's a guy I can really look up to. I mean, he's everything that I'd want to be one day. He's, he's rich, he's, he's famous, he's, he's good-looking, he's, 
You snotty. Come on, Chris. You make me sound like Joe Garagiola. But you know what, Sandy? I'm not the only one that looks up to you. I mean, you literally have hundreds of fans out there. And you know, it's not fair for me to keep you all to myself. I mean, these people, they depend on you. Yeah, but Chris, show business is it's so grueling. It's five hours of work every week. It's having to wear those horrible synthetic hair pieces. Yes, but it's also very rewarding, isn't it? Sandy, you make people laugh in a in a world where laughter is is kind of a precious commodity, like like coffee and and jam and gloves. That's true. <laughs> Not to mention, I get truckload of money <laughs> and incredible amounts of tail <laughs> exactly now that's the sandy i know well you know you're absolutely right chris yeah I, I didn't come this far in my career to abandon everything and move in with a guy that throws a baseball like a ballerina <laughs> exactly <laughs> no i was absolutely obviously put on this earth to uh, entertain america and take home a fat paycheck, huh? <laughs> so as long as there is breath left in this old body of mine, that is exactly what I am going to do. Thank you, Chris. No. You <laughs> kill me. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> when will I see you again? Oh, Chris, you can see me anytime you want. In fact, thanks for asking. I will be at the uh, Tropicana Hotel on March 19th through the 23rd. From there, it's down to beautiful Miami Beach, Florida, the Fountain Blue. Last time Bob Culp showed up, surprised me. Ooh. He's a little <laughs> And then from there, out to the coast, I'll be a guest on Match Game PM. You check your local listings for Diamond Stays. Adios, Kelsey. Goodbye. Oh, hey. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet Sandy. I shan't forget you. <laughs> Creator of Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark comes an epic story of courage, adventure, and of course, romance. What are you staring at? Your leg. I'd like to break it. Val Kilmer stars in the broadcast premiere of Willow, tomorrow on Fox Night at the Movies. Now stay tuned for Married with Children, next.